Welcome to the installation tutorial video for the Growing Church Theme Bundle from MintPlugins.com. And this theme bundle is perfect for any church that needs to get a website up quickly and also that fulfills all of the needs that you might have, including sermons, recurring events, be able to post about all the things that are going on in your church quickly and easily. And it works on all kinds of devices, including phones, desktops, tablets, and you name it. So let's get into the installation part of this tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to mintplugins.com and click on my account at the top right. And this page will show you all of the purchases that you've made with mintplugins.com and then we're going to scroll down and go to the section called your license keys and find the license key for the growing church theme bundle which we've purchased. And then up here under your downloads where it says growing church theme bundle we're going to click growing church theme bundle and that will download the zip file for this theme bundle into our downloads directory on our computer. So now I'll go to my WordPress where I have WordPress installed on my own domain name and I'll go to plugins add new. And then up here at the top under Upload Plugin, I'm going to click Upload Plugin. And I'm just going to click on Choose File. And that's going to open up the directory where I download files on my computer. You'll want to browse to that directory on your computer. And then you'll select the Growing Church Theme Bundle.zip, which we've downloaded. And click Open. And then we'll click Install Now, which will upload this theme bundle to our web hosting. And then we'll click Activate Plugin. And then it's going to go through a series of steps, and the first of which is entering our license key, which we've copied into our clipboard right now, so we can just right-click and say Paste. And then we'll click Complete Installation. And then these gears are going to show up on the screen, just to let us know that it's doing a whole bunch of steps right now uh, to verify the license and also pull in all the required plugins that this theme bundle uses. Uh, so we're just going to sit here and let this finish, and you can see it's installed all of the plugins that we need. And then it's going to redirect us again to another setup page where it's going to actually go through and create the layout for each page and that page and also put all of those pages into the menu for us. So basically it's doing everything that needs to be done for the basic setup. And then when it's done, you'll see this message that says installation successful at the top of your screen. And we can click to view our new homepage. So let's take a look. So here's our new homepage, and you can see that it's got uh, the exact same look as the demo on the Mint Plugins website. If we scroll down, you can see that in this latest sermons area, there are no sermons showing, and that's simply because we haven't posted any sermons of our own yet, so there's nothing to show. Um, so yeah, the whole homepage is here, and there's a few things that we need to fill out to get this started. Uh, the first of which is probably changing the name from Welcome to Growing Church to your own church name. Uh, so anything that you want to change on this website is very simple to do. All you need to do is double click in any section, and what we call those sections are bricks. Uh, so this, you can see the top one here has edit this brick at the top left. If we go over the latest sermons area, you can see that there's another brick right here, this whole white space. Uh, and so you can click on edit this brick in the top left or double click on any brick and it'll open up that brick so you can edit it. So I'm just going to double click on this top brick. And it's going to open up the brick editor for this section. So then we can scroll down to the text controls. And you can see that there are a few text areas included in this brick. So we'll pop open the first one, and you can see that this is where it says, Welcome to Growing Church. So you can change this to, you know, Welcome to the name of your church. And then if you want to play around with the text sizes, you can do that. The text size for this defaults to 20 pixels. You can change the text color right here with this color picker. Uh, you can change the font using any Google font that you want by simply typing in the name of that font and so on and so forth. And you can do the same for each one of these text areas. So the next one is a growing faith community in your town. So that might be where you'd put the tagline for your church or something like that. And the font size is slightly bigger for that. So again, you can play around with all of that. And if you want to change the background image for any section, you can just go up to the top right of the brick editor under brick background settings and then background image. You can pop that down. And then you can select any image from your media library that you want to use. Uh, so you can very simply change the background image and the foreground content as well. And then when you're done, you just click update and it'll run through this uh, little animation here while the page or while sorry, while the brick updates. And that's how you change any section on this site. So anytime you see these things pop up in the corner, that's how you can edit that section of the page. Uh, so the same goes here if you want to change this placeholder text to actual who we are text for your own church. You can do that by double clicking, change the video same same way in the brick editor. 
and then we'll scroll down right to the bottom. You can see that there's uh, some issues here with the Instagram feed, and that's because we need to actually go through and do a little handshake digitally with Instagram to say, hey, we're going to try to pull some images down here. And all the instructions for that are included in the brick editor. So all you do again is you just double click and it'll pop open the brick editor for this brick. And then you can scroll down and under the social grid settings, you can click on this notice and that will walk you through all the steps to do that handshake with Instagram. And then you can set up your feed to pull in the Instagram posts that you want. We're using the Hillsong Africa Instagram account. Uh, you can put your own Instagram username here or if you don't want to use this section of the page at all, simply click move to trash in the top right and it'll get rid of the entire brick. So there might be a few things in this theme bundle that you don't really think that you might need to use for your church. It's very simple to remove those. We've tried to add extra things more than what you might need in most cases so that it's simply a process of removing that brick. Uh, the same goes down here at the bottom with all of these social links. You can see that there are about 10 or 12 social links here. Probably most of those most people won't use, but just in case you need to use them, they are there, but it's very simple to remove them as well. So you just double click on the brick, it pops open, and in the brick editor, we'll scroll down to the controls for the social links area. And in under links, you can see that all of the links have their own control area here. And if you want to remove one, just pop it open. Scroll to the bottom of that link's controls and click the remove button. And by clicking remove, you'll remove that link. And you might want to do that with most of the links in this section. And then when you're done, you just click update and it will refresh the brick and you're good to go. So that is the basic, basic setup of the growing church theme bundle. If you have any questions at all, please leave us an email at support at mintplugins.com. We love helping out our customers, so don't be afraid to let us know if you're having trouble. We'll be more than happy to help you out.